What's up guys? I'm excited for this boat tour today because a lot of you have been asking for more powerboat tours and the very first powerboat tour that I ever posted did really well, so message received. So I'm going to go ahead and keep touring unique powerboats that I like and that I think you guys are going to like and add those in to my boat tours along with the sailboats. I'm definitely not stopping the sailboat tours. Now this video is a tour of a 2003 Grand Banks East Bay SX 54 foot classic trawler. Remember to like and subscribe to these videos if you're enjoying them. If you haven't already, it really helps us a lot. So thank you in advance. And without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right guys, I am here today to tour this beautiful Grand Banks yacht, this trawler here. She already looks awesome, just love the lines. Let's go ahead and step aboard and go forward first. Nice spacious side decks with solid handrails here, so good safety. Really big windows here. Lots of visibility from the helm, which is gonna be inside. Again, handrails going forward, both here and there. Nice, big, clean foredeck. Ample ventilation with dorades, big opening hatches, and then opening ports down here, all stainless. Very nice. The exterior teak is in really good shape. Deck is in really good shape. And I can see an appeal to a trawler like this because you just have a nice, big, clean fore deck up here. There's no sailing lines to get in the way of anything. Going forward, we've got our anchor windlass, our anchor on a big stainless bow roller right there. Couple chain lockers up here. Extra anchor down there. So the sailor in me really appreciates the style of this boat. Nice classic lines, really beautiful, beautiful motor yacht. I just can't help but notice that even though this is a motor yacht, she shares a lot of features and a lot of design things that look similar to sailboats as well. I'm gonna climb up here. Show you guys on top of the coach roof. We've got radar, satellite, all of our instruments up there, life raft back there. Coming back down. Again, just massive forward windows. You do have windshield wipers there. Can't wait to go inside. Now before I go down in the cockpit here, just take a look. We've got nice, real teak really good condition and just again you know this is what's nice about a motor yacht here look at how much space you have fish off the back quite easily this opens up here and then you've got a teak deck back here on the transom Lots of space for activities. Looking forward. And then we've got this stainless steel bimini over top the cockpit here. Under these seats here, you do have some storage. Just to show you guys that. Very nice. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and go inside. 
First, before we get to the interior of this boat, we want to thank Kamikoto for sponsoring this video. So Kamikoto went and sent us a set of three of their Japanese steel kitchen knives, and we are super excited to put these to use. We figured a great way to showcase these is by making our favorite food, sushi. Each knife set comes in a heavy-duty ash wood box and would make a great gift. They're heavy. It feels very durable. Oh, three have a single bevel, so I'm excited to put these to use. This is the real test. Kamikoto makes extremely high quality Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. They have a wide range of knives and each one goes through a rigorous 19 step process that takes several years from start to finish. Each knife is individually inspected and guaranteed for life. Because of the single bevel edge, Kamikoto knives can achieve an unbelievably sharp edge that you just can't get with other knives. Lastly, a great product is incomplete without great customer service, so they offer that as well. One of the most challenging parts about making sushi is cutting through the nori. It sometimes tears if your knife isn't sharp enough, so I think this will be a good test. So if you're looking for a world-class knife, either for yourself or as a gift, head on over to kamikoto.com slash learning the lines. You'll also get an extra $50 off your order and you'll be helping to support this channel. So thank you in advance and let's get back to the boat tour. Stepping inside. Wow. I'll go ahead and give you guys a 360. Just a big open salon here. Beautiful woodwork everywhere. Let's go to the helm first and then we'll kind of look at more details after that. So we've got this beautiful helm station here, nice and protected. You can weather the storm in here very, very comfortably. Twin cat diesels, instruments, bow and stern thrusters, trim tabs, very, very nice. Got everything you need to navigate here, including the iPad. <laughs> That's necessary these days. But you also have a big Garmin GPS right there as well. Sharp water. Looking aft. Got our chart table here. Chart table overlooks the galley, which is down there. Really cool. I like that. And again, the woodwork is just in immaculate condition. Big settee. Got a little kind of reading nook, relaxing area here, some storage down here. Look at that woodwork. And we've got some storage back here as well. A lot of you guys always ask me what the headroom is like in these boats, and as you can see, I'm 5'11". I've got a lot of room. I don't think you'll have any problems. And going forward, hand holds going down everywhere you look even though this is a motor yacht they definitely think about bracing in a rough sea to our port here we've got a really nice nook galley really like this black countertop here teak fiddle ample storage Got an electric range right there. Cold storage down below. Lots of cold storage. AC's blowing nice and cold right from there. Nice size double sink. Nice and deep. Really nice. Going to starboard. This looks like it is kind of a convertible space here. So we've got 
a settee, but I imagine that converts to a berth. I'm not gonna fully close it, but we've got a sliding door right here that closes this off so it becomes a private berth. Lots of storage right here as well. You guys know I love convertible spaces like this. There's also a table that folds out. So we've got kind of a breakfast nook in this galley here, or private cabin. I like that a lot. Going forward. Looking to port. We've got three single berths in one cabin right here on the port side. This is great for kids or single people. Hanging locker, cedar lined. Again, ample headroom throughout, even down here. starboard we have come across a head here with a separate shower currently being used for storage but there is a separate shower there very very nice I like this countertop a lot teaks in really good shape this looks like a quality household style head right here that's that's really nice storage behind the counter Finally going forward into the main cabin in the bow of this boat. So we've got an island berth up here in the main cabin. Beautiful woodwork just throughout. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say it. It's just pristine. But an island queen size berth, ample storage. And it seems like every locker for clothes is cedar lined. Couldn't get better than that. And then we have our master head right here. Again, just awesome, awesome. I love the styling of this boat. Separate shower. It's just so classic. I would live on this. All right guys, so engine access is gonna be from right here. What's really nice about it is once this is up, you can still go around and access the main salon, even with the engine cover up. Let's go down below, and take a look. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Now, I don't pretend to be anywhere close to an expert on big motor yachts, but I can tell you that engine access, equipment access, all seems to be very good down here. Let me go all the way forward. Look at how organized that is, the electrical there. I love it. Looking aft, we do have access from here as well. So you can go ahead and get down here multiple ways. Generator. I'm always impressed by how big the exhaust pipes are on these boats. All right guys, it's time for the full continuous blow decks walkthrough from bow to stern. I'm in the main cabin looking forward towards the bow. Gonna take a look at the main head before I go aft. Looking to starboard, going aft. port three single berths 
looking to starboard, we've got a day head or a guest head with its own separate shower. The starboard, the convertible breakfast nook. Lots of storage right here in the pantry area. Galley, I would say pretty much perfect galley. Going up into the saloon. We've got our helm station. 360 degree views. And a beautiful place to hang out or spend a passage. That's it guys. Real quick before I get into my thoughts on this boat, I just want to mention that I'm more of a sailor and not a power boater. That means I know significantly less about power boats than I do sailboats. So these power boat tours are basically just going to be top level walkthroughs of the boat and general impressions. If you want more details, that's going to be in the boat listing as well as you can do some research online on this boat model. Alright guys, I really enjoyed that boat a lot. and. I think the reason why I liked it is because it shares a lot of the same features as sailboats. You know, this is a classic trawler and a lot of the lines, you know, when you look at them, look like they could be on a sailboat, you know, just the styling and everything. It's very, very classic. Design wise, the main salon is up, you know, it's basically a pilot house and you're completely protected inside that boat. And in pretty much any weather, you're gonna be safe and comfortable in that boat. I absolutely love that. I really loved the galley layout and the size. And then right across from that, I really loved that breakfast nook that could also be turned into a cabin. That was awesome. When you're captaining this boat, you can choose to go slower, you know, like seven, eight knots and be fuel efficient. Or if you wanted to, this boat can get up on plane and cruise at 27 knots and max out at 30 knots. So you can really get up and move. Personally, I'd probably just go slow and hang out. I mean, the boat's really comfortable and it's perfect for that. Anyway, obviously this is not a cheap boat. Grand Banks is a really high quality boat builder and the price reflects that. As always, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is gonna be in the description below. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson Come sit here with me by the fire and let it go.